I tried to fly as a kid a lot. Um, you know, jumping off sand dunes when we went to the beach, but it never works. <laughs> I grew up in a surfing family and everyone was constantly on shortboards. My sister is a surfboard shaper and I was always just like, what am I going to do? So the second that I got on a longboard, it was just a whole different world, like magic. My ancestors flew on the water with canoes and I thought my way of flying was on the nose. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not as easy as it looks. How does it even work? If we start at the start, Wave riding begins with the sun, whose rays unevenly heat the planet and make wind. Wind makes waves. Waves travel thousands of miles, organising into tidy swells. Sometimes the right angle of the coast and the ocean's floor turn those swells into fairy tale waves. Goldilocks waves. Not too fast, not too small, not too slow, not too tall but just right. The history books would have us believe that some Californian guy worked out forward trim. But don't you think surfers have always cross-stepped and shuffled, Namala? Yeah, the ancients definitely trimmed forward friction-free. Why does nose riding work? Balance is the obvious element. The right board helps, of course. It was all a mistake. In Shaper Dale Velzi's factory in the 1950s, they accidentally glassed a fin on the nose, flipped the blank, and there it was. The birth of the nose rider. Shortboards plane on top of the water, like a speedboat. It's about pace, maximising velocity. But longboards, they go through the water, like dolphins. It's about subtlety, minimising effort. I guess that's why even in tiny waves, you still feel like you're flying. In Newtonian physics, forces come in pairs. As soon as you paddle, you start the chain reaction. Your hands push water backward to propel you forward. Popping up, gravity plants your feet to the deck, pulls down, buoyancy pushes up, and you stay afloat. A broad single fin holds a parallel line to the face, creating drag and surface tension, which makes more speed. See the spray off the rails? That's the board displacing water, creating drag, which slows you down, but also lifts you into the pocket. So, nose riding is balancing forces. Precisely. Drag and momentum, buoyancy and gravity, glide and turbulence. You have to make friends with both. In trim, you match the wave's pace, minimum drag and effortless acceleration. To set up for a nose ride, you can stall or fade like Lola does, using the slope of the face and the swing of the board like a pendulum. It slingshots you forward with speed and stability. Or not. <laughs> Notice how she fades and trims, anticipating the section? At first it's mental math, calculating all the angles, sandbanks, swell direction, wave steepness, trim angle, and translating them into the language of levitation. I guess real skill is knowing not by thinking, but by feeling.
The Coanda effect is fundamental to understanding both flying and nose riding. See the nose dip with her second step forward? Water shoots down and out, lifting the tail, which tucks into the pocket. Displaced water grabs the round rails and bottom, wraps over the deck, over the tail like a blanket, keeping the board stuck to the face of the wave. This is the Coanda effect. If the Hang 5 is about speed, then the Hang 10 is a kind of extravagant stall. The longboard is a seesaw, levitation made possible by the weight and lift of water. Fluent reading and subtle adjustments, like shifting weight from blade to arch of foot, can mean the difference between a timid nose ride out on the shoulder and back to the future style hoverboarding. Men tend to lead with their knees. But women, we go hip first. The hang hip is a hang 10 with weight fully committed in the pads of your feet. Body weight pushed beyond the nose and driven by a kind of dance. Depending on who you ask, water arrived here from some wayward comet more than 4 billion years ago. People have been wave sliding for tens of thousands of years, and Newtonian physics is just 350 years old. A pretty new way to explain how old stuff works. Knowing or not knowing the science means nothing to the real function of nose riding, which is feeling. The physics shows us that function is only one factor, but there's also some unspeakable magic to it. In my language, we say juggy. It's play in relationship with the real world. It seems like nose riding shouldn't work, like Vegemite and peanut butter, but it does work. The proportions just have to be right. <laughs> 